I don't like YouTube, <clears throat> but that's probably what this video will be on, at least for now. And, um, I don't like it, but it doesn't really matter. But the only reason it doesn't really matter is love. I mean, that's the same reason anything doesn't matter. That's the beautiful thing once you realise that nothing matters. Once you realise nothing matters, you're about fucking one step away from realising why nothing matters. And the... And that's love. I mean, that's one of the best ways I can think of personally of saying what love, what love is. Although I quite like, you know, cartoons. Cartoons are quite good at saying it too. <clears throat> that isn't what I was going to say. I was just going to say, I don't like YouTube, but it doesn't matter that much because because something because there's something much more mattering something much more important than my dislike not for necessarily YouTube itself not even necessarily for Google itself um, not even necessarily for advertising but it is sort of like advertising the thing that I don't like But it doesn't really matter because I'm a madvert, basically. An, an everted, perverted madvert. And so the most important thing is that I put that across. And so that's what I'm channeling, man. Okay. So, welcome to the uh, Winding Brook Sanctuary for Ultra-Terrestrial Life. My name is Uncle Wayback, among others, and um, on air, I'll be your host. Uh, there's already a million things I wanted to say. Uh, between filming the ash over there and walking here, I've I've done this a million times better a hundred times already. One of the things I wanted to say is I'm sorry about the accent here. Um, at any rate, if I appear to be lampooning you, it is because one, I am. Two, I am you. Which is actually what I am means already. So, there was one day when I, was, I thought I'd walk around and I would point the camera at stuff and like pause between pointings and for every pointing I would speak the line of a poem. And as I walked around pointing the camera at things, I realised I was pointing the camera at bits of rubbish, bits of plastic, dying plants, bits of crap. <coughs> um, and there's a lot of that here, basically, you know. It's a bit crap. Here's an ugly thing. Bunny mess. Although, having said that, Vegan poo. Vegan poo is God's chocolate. White buns. I just wanted to quickly go to here because I think that's what I'm going to call this video. Vegan poo is God's chocolate. Might call my video that. Uh, shoe. About as close to clickbait as I come. Ugh, I wouldn't click on it. But maybe it would work for your audience. What? You are my audience. Don't you like it? Wouldn't you click? No. Poo is disgusting and chocolate is a nice thing. They shouldn't be in the same sentence together. It is approximately the end of January of the year 
2024. This is the Winding Brook Sanctuary for Ultra Terrestrial Life, and this is going to be my first video uh, 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 under that name. Um, what have we got? I mean, there's a few elements to it. One of the elements is me um, trying to wish my good friend a happy birthday. So if you see videos in which I'm struggling to um, speak human language, that's because I'm trying to tell my good friend that I love him. And I'm a real man, so that's very difficult. Sorry, you rather caught me in the mirrors here. I haven't had time to falsify my eyes. <laughs> oh, yes. No. And all that before breakfast. Some of the other elements are yesterday, when I had a kind of surprise mushroom experience in the morning whilst trying to treat my cluster headaches. And uh, so I filmed a few things in the afternoon, on and off of that subject, and on and on. I just missed. I just missed a scene that was very, very cinematic. It could have been very cinematic. Um, so it's a bit of a shame. I took this ash bucket and spread it on Flamsfield. The starlings came over and landed in the oaks and, and the ash drifted like smoke in, in, in the rushes. It was very cinematic. I should have filmed that instead of my bunny rabbit's bottom and now here I am <coughs> cleaning the bunny rabbit out makes good mulch this stuff it is um, wood pellets like people use for burning when they don't have like proper stoves I was just thinking about medicine right because I did I've got cluster headaches actually I, I thought they were just normal migraines. It started a few years back. Um, very, very painful with um, very, very painful localized headaches, like behind my eyes, normally behind just one eye, with uh, really vivid um, lights, geometric stuff and lights. On air. Um, good morning. I recorded sort of one introduction. I don't know what this one is. Um, maybe it's more of like a disclaimer, a pre-introduction, a disclaimer. <coughs> I really wanted to do um, nice, kind of middle class, good life, um, you know, move to the countryside, I'm a great artist, um, support me kind of videos, um, but I'm not there yet. Um, because the world um, doesn't deserve me, I mean, you know, I don't actually feel like that because I know I'm at least um, part of the problem uh, and that, that's what I'm trying to um, deal with to some degree. Um, so this is all process, um, it's not product, I'm not product, I'm not a content creator, 
I'm I'm feeling a lot of discontent. Um, so that's kind of what what motivates this video, and, and it's more about um, resistance and stuff. So so it's difficult, um, and it's a bit boring sometimes, and it's a bit random, um, and hopefully sometimes it's funny and um, inspiring and stuff. Um, but I can't think too much about. Um, you're funny. You're funny. You don't have to worry too much if you're funny. But they should. What? You're funny. You're funny. You don't have to worry too much if you're funny. But they should. <laughs> Um, and it was just after I'd started like learning to program a bit for the first time and I thought it was maybe just and maybe it is this maybe it does have a bit to do with trying to bend my brain in ways that, uh, that it doesn't really that it doesn't find too um, fitting but I don't know if that's strictly speaking true because actually um, I'm quite fond of logic sense and that kind of stuff. Um, it might just be slightly different, but um, you know, I mean, if things don't fit together, then they're just not going to fucking work, are they? So, but anyway, uh, the other thing I was going to say was. This is all open source. It's all going to be done with open source software. Not only that, but the actual mentality behind it. Even the mentalness itself is open source. As in, you can contribute to this madness if you want. In fact, you can't not. You already are if you're watching it. How the fuck did I get onto logic? Cluster headaches. So, yeah, I thought they were migraines. And then I researched cluster headaches. I um heard about them before because I'm interested in magic mushrooms and I heard about cluster headaches because some people were having success using magic mushrooms to treat cluster headaches when nothing else was working, nothing pharmaceutical. So I had my... One of the characteristics of cluster headaches is that they're seasonal um, and so... I've been keep I've been keeping notes for a couple of years, and last year I noted them down particularly, and this year I note that it is happening at exactly the same sort of time, which is in bulk or like um, Bridget's Day, this kind of first rising of um, spring on on the tail end of winter. Um, Having a nice green cigar. And so yesterday I had my first attack of the year. And it's not as bad as it used to be in terms of the headaches aren't quite as severe. They used to be like really bad. But it's still, it's still completely debilitating. Um, it starts from, a, I notice it starting feels normally like it's in my left eye and there's a little patch of light and that patch of light grows until I can't read if I was driving I would have to stop and pull over um, <clears throat> it completely sort of I can still see through it but it makes everything kind of very hard to make sense of um, visually um, and it lasts about half an hour and then it kind of it ramps up over about 10 minutes, seems bad for about 15 or 20 minutes, and then it like drops off, leaving me with a an ache, but not a severe migraine like it used to. Um, so anyway, I, I, I ate a few mushrooms yesterday. I haven't actually looked properly at how people are treating it, so I, I just thought I'll eat a few mushrooms and see if it helps. So I ate 12 little Liberty Caps. Um, 
and I didn't really notice them yesterday. Um, and I had sort of two attacks, one in the morning, and then I ate the Liberty Caps in the afternoon, and then after eating them, it came back, but not that bad. Um, and I do feel like looking at the computer screen is a, at least a trigger for me. Light has something to do with tr triggering it, and, and it, there's a there's this phenomenon of, of light um, behind my eyes as it's happening. Um, but then, so this morning, it happened again after I was looking at the computer. So I just turned the computer straight off, but and like went about my business. But still, it happened, and I thought, okay, I'll try some more mushrooms. So I just ate twelve again, which um, isn't really a microdose, um, which would maybe be more like four, five, six. Um, but you wouldn't really think of it as a dose, um, which you'd probably want to be taking at least 20 odd um, before you even noticed it really and by the time you get to about 50 that's a that's a dose like um, and obviously you can go much higher than that that's just where it begins but I mean I've done I've done more and I've done all kinds of psychedelics and, and maybe after a while, it doesn't matter so much how much you take. I, I mean, I don't know. This morning it was strong medicine. Really, strangely, just 12 mushrooms um, really worked. I had to get into bed and I had to uh, do a little bit of purging and I had to do like energy work. And um, it was good medicine. And I was thinking, like, it's different. It's not like taking a paracetamol, which might just, like, cut the pain off. Um, I feel better, but within the framework of my condition, it's still sort of there. It's still lingering around, but I feel better. Um, more better than I would if I'd have just taken a pharmaceutical. And yet, more in touch with my condition or the problem still. Um, and so I was wondering about what to call this kind of medicine. I mean, to be honest, it's it's what medicine means, I think. And the other stuff is drugs. Um, but but the what they what you get from the doctor is drugs really and what grows out of the earth is medicine and I do I, I do think it's it's quite different um, when you do like um, well I've, I've I, most of my experience is with natural stuff because that's uh, my tendency or the way I'm inclined so I don't want to be ignorant but I'm also not entirely ignorant I've tried other, other things and one of the things that I would say is like those things push you and that's good if you just want to be like pushed through the night you know and keep moving um, that's fine natural things push you and pull you um, and I was thinking like with the mushrooms because I'm prone to mania a bit anyway so I get overexcited and I get a bit silly and uh, Say with something like cocaine or ecstasy, that might kind of exacerbate that or something. Well, the, the mushrooms is a bit more like being with a mate who, when you say something silly, they'll just not say anything and it will kind of hurt and make you aware of your idiocy or your, your silliness and that's a bit what I mean by pulling so the the mushrooms and, and medicine for me um, doesn't just push you it doesn't just like give you energy in fact it gives you a lot of energy that's like that you have to work with but then it also has this silence which can be quite withering and can make you feel quite um, silly or stupid <laughs> because you probably are 
certainly if you're the creature that I'm sort of pointing at just now. Oh man, I seen them yesterday, but I forgot about them. Icy cool. So I was like thinking, you know, it's obviously not the same as pharmaceutical medicine. And obviously there are going to be conditions that you just want to fucking knock on the head. I expect. Maybe anyway. Um, so this kind of medicine could be complementary. You know, you could say it's complementary medicine, but <laughs> it's not. It's not very complementary. You can't. It's actually highly contrasting. Um, so you could call it like contrastive medicine as opposed to complementary. Um, if you wanted to call it something like ma make a make a label and a thing, which, uh, you know, I'm joking about, but I do realise the value in coming up with a name for something that doesn't really need one, and talking about certain aspects of it. So, there's a nigh 12 minute ramble on the theme of contrast of medicine. Professor fucking Pararandum Sandum of the University of Wipe that fucking smile off your face, you daft cunt. Why is that? Turn a strand. Turn me down. See? <laughs> that weird. That weird. Oh yeah, I just hang them. Please, don't you think? I'm coming and going. He's know what I mean. He's strolling yellow. You walk in the beach. Is that really such a thing? It's coming and going. Oh, oh I fucking heal him on. Which here is the night home. There's something to be said for that. Here. If I can just find the way to board the fling board. Break them up. Tiny gates. Yeah, it's a flare. Why? <laughs> you know, sometimes you're just walking around having a stew and you just think, 
that occurs to you? Is that really such a thing as cumin and gooing? Is that really such a thing as cumin and gooing? All the same, on this day, many years ago, was born. It sounds like the start to some kind of story. And that's because it is. Every day, the beginning of a new mm, mini epic. Every fucking momento. I don't know. Because Cumin and green. Now you see, is there really such a thing as cumin and green? This thing here, he be cumin, but it's not like he wasn't there already in a certain sense. And when is this first moment when he come from? When is this one's birthday? When is this one's birthday? What's the beginning and ending of this little story right here? Happy birthday, he says him. Where's the rest of them? I tell you what, there's one of them new. I saw this one. I saw this one Kumut. I was there when you slapped out of that big the vagina that's just behind that tail. I was there. Monster Mister Ober on the hair reflected in the painting. I just wanted to say some more slightly confusing crap. The last slightly confusing crap of the day, um, which is that I can't. Um, I could. I'm not gonna make an attempt to like divide this into fucking things like make a technology video, make a gardening video, make a video about psychedelics, make one about waffly wisdom. Um, I'm just going to give you like, I'm just going to do news from Winding Brook um, and I hope there will be some more gardening in it uh, but um, wife does more gardening at the moment and husband um, who is actually a kind of house husband so bit of a wife in his way does waffle and construction and all sorts all I wanted to say is that yeah there's not much gardening in this particular episode because the garden is more like a state that we're in uh, it just kind of happens Um, but that doesn't mean that there, is, there aren't like um, projects and techniques and those kind of things. Um, not that I'm a particularly technical person or anything of that. Anyway, I think I just wanted to say there's not much like gardening in this because the garden is just the state that we're in. That's what a garden is, really. Um,
there's not much to see around here. Yeah, put the bird bird feeders down there because when it's windy it knocks on the window. Salvia divinor up there in her winter dress. She's looking away actually. Um, scaffold in there because that's what I was saying earlier. The, the front of the house is alright with the joining and stuff. Um, the side of the house is much less alright. I've come outside in my fucking slippers and it's muddy as fuck. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm up to. That's the side of the chimney I didn't manage to get to. I was up on the roof there and I managed to do the other three sides but I couldn't get around there. I was using the scaffolding inside. Um, and so I put the scaffolding up because I thought as well some of the leaks might be happening at the ends of the uh, at the ends of the fucking beams there it's really really shit a lot of the w work on the, this house um, in more recent years obviously the house itself is a fucking um, solid great thing and quite old uh, and this behind you this is Eden this is what we call the Eden it's a fucking mess I need to sort the paths out got a little solar panel that was a good idea um, it works pretty fucking well I think it's 500 watts or whatever and I've got a bluetti blah blah thing I'm not really doing the techno video shit um, And that enables us to run our laptops and all of that stuff. And I'll, uh, hopefully one day my website will be solar powered. Uh, but it probably won't have videos on it. Because they're a bit too expensive. Yeah, but uh, I mean that's one of the reasons the garden is, is great is that you can't, um, it's a bit like wisdom in that way because you, there are, there's bits and bobs, there's techniques but, but you learn by doing basically and every garden is different um, so you can't actually learn from someone else about your garden, it just doesn't work like that. Um, and that that's why it's a state we're in not just because I'm making some kind of allusion to to paradise um, which I which we all always are inevitably are um, because he heaven on earth is a thing um, I mean you know it's actually it's actually quite literally a thing. Um, yeah. Well, here's the house. And then, yes, you see. Yeah, 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 Obviously I also mean it's a fucking mess. The garden is a state we're in. It's a fucking mess. Um, and just you be careful of anyone who's trying to give you something too clean. Because, uh... Because it's a fucking mess. It's a fucking mess. I'm completely absorbed in this snail now, but there, there was something I forgot to say. Probably it doesn't matter.
I mean, certainly it doesn't matter if you, uh, you know, just go and have a look at the moon. If this inspires you to, like, go out and have a look at the moon. Or, or whatever weird little creature it happens to be. At the moment. Oh. Yeah. Here I am, in an awkward position, with the neighbour's machine making some noise, saying the last thing, the last thing today is, um, you have to understand I've eaten some chaos today. I, I've tasted a little random, and, uh, I recommend it. I mean, if you can see um, some sort of liveliness here, that's what it comes from. It comes from, like, ingesting a little chaos every now and then. And um, it only has to be a little bit, because um, you are it anyway, and you can't measure it anyway. Which doesn't mean it's not a quantity, or it has to be a quality. Just, just Anyway, blah. There are certain things that actually are more like it than others, and dried Liberty Cat mushrooms are really quite like it. They actually look like it. Um, and so do hares, the animal. Um, and so do like flower, flower buds and dried things. Anyway, Um, all I was going to say is that weirdly enough you don't get it from getting together with other people and you like a lot of our ways of thinking about chaos nowadays are kind of tied to this idea of emergence or like you know you have a bunch of you have a few simple rules and it makes um, they're structured in a certain way that they give rise to chaos or or you have like a bunch of different elements and the, and the way they interact is chaotic um, so some, somehow I mean it, just thinking about it purely in human terms you would think perhaps getting a group of humans together would be more chaotic um, it might be a bit crazier in, in some ways and it can certainly be more um, more but we uh, we resonate and we fall into step with each other and um, It's, it's, it's great to take these things in groups and with f in other friends and those kind of things as well. Um, it's just that if true chaos comes from you alone. Um, and that, that doesn't mean like you like literally in some sort of bubble or something. Um, but I mean it's you, you are more random by yourself than you're ever going to be with, it, with, it, with anyone else um, which is you know why you need to spend time with other people as well obviously Yeah, I don't know. There's something in here, right? Okay, there's something about K 
chaos that can uh, that can only come from you alone. It's much much purer, purer. But I mean, you know, obviously, you always are alone. To be honest, um, and 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 good good. Um, facilitators of, of psychedelic experiences or whatever would uh, be able to let you be alone I suppose anyway uh, the, the thoughts happen much more succinctly than the talking does but at least there, this is a nice frame better than what you've done so far. I should try to be a bit more um, creative about it. Alright then. I think that's good except I believe the icebreaker is meant to become at the big beginning. So this is my noisy neighbour washing his fucking tractor. Um, and I'll use it as an opportunity to say um, a thing or two about contrastive medicine and the reason why I don't particularly want to uh, be vaccinated again or go that road somehow is it's it's part of a of the machine right which I which is kind of my enemy or, my, or an antagonist for me and vaccination is like having sex with it and that's fine um, because I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck fuck it right up right because because of what I am not me personally um, it's just that you know the machine can't deal with this kind of shit um, it tries to deal with it by machinifying it ploughing it or um, grinding it, or killing it, eradicating it, cleaning it, um, and that's what I refuse. That's what I resist. Um, because the thing is, is, is what it leads to. It's a bad road. Um, it's more or less, it's all the mentality of slavery like, and <clears throat> war even when it's farming it's war even when it's uh, healthcare it's war um, it's very extreme to be saying this I do realise I'm saying it quite mildly, you realise I'm quite a mild person um, and these are just my weird hippie opinions or whatever apparently <clears throat> so what, what you need to do if you're someone who's making ma machines um, is kill yourself basically um, and I don't mean commit suicide I mean, um, annihilate your personhood or whatever you think it is. Um, annihilate yourself. And then, um, technology can become um, part of creation, let's say. Creative and part of creation. At the moment, it's all war machine. There's, it's all war machine. Um, and, th and that's what um, alien abduction and stuff is about, that's what contact with 
with aliens is about um, and why they communicate to us um, a kind of path of peace and a, a problem, a, a danger that we're in, um, because that's us encountering um, the other, that, that we're blocking out and noising <coughs> out all the time, um, running from, um, and that that's peace basically. Peace is like fucking aliens and shit. And war is just humans and humans and humans being horrible to each other and animals and all of that stuff. And peace is like aliens and shit. <laughs> anyway. Leave it there. Peace. How do I take responsibility for, you know, this noise that is inside me? Why does this machine need to be fucking cleaned just now? Why does it need to be cleaned? Why does this machine need to be? Why did you all fuck off? And just like... You know what I mean? Because the machine moved into a space that people left. <clears throat> um, so come back into the space where the machine is. And uh, let's like heal the machine. Destroy. Let's not pretend that we're not talking about throwing fucking spanners in the works um, but only because that's what we are and that's what life does um, <clears throat> yeah I don't know I don't know because I'm, because I'm talking about the future I'm not talking about Luddite shit I'm not talking about smashing up your computer I'm, I'm not actually talking about literally throwing spanners in the works. I'm, I'm fed up with spanners and cogs and whirly whirly fucking shit and I'm already fed up with artificial intelligence um, and its products uh, and I, I know a lot of you are too um, and I just hope it doesn't fucking it, it, it provides an opportunity for us to confront um, uh, uh, to actually manifest the kind of nihilistic um, void uh, and uh, by which we might actually see the light that is, you know, true emptiness or the void that is not necessarily like an absence of anything it's bigger than anything that could possibly be said to be present and so that's why I can't shut this out I can't block this shit out because I'm not one of those kind of people I'm not saying strip it all away until you get down to the fucking eye the only thing that's real you know not this not that yeah not this not that not this not that because of what's bigger than it all not because not this, not because not that. So I can't block that out because it's there. Um, and it's, it's a torsion, a distortion of, uh, of what's really there. And, uh, and so I need to undo these kind of knots. Um, so we can make 
um, be beautiful things so we can see be beautiful things so we can see beautiful things making themselves coming into being generating themselves naturally whatever that really means which is which goes some way beyond uh, goes some way beyond <laughs> any kind of bounds that we might think we've drawn around it or whatever um, but yeah I can ri I can try and rise above it and I tell you what then I'll shut up with this I don't think I'll be able to do it now though there's a there's a there's a silence which is louder than that noise um, and I don't just mean like a necessarily like a cosmic thing or, or like some kind of like a, you know microwave cosmic microwave radiation background I mean um, the voice of trees and not when the winds blowing through them I mean the, the, the presence that trees have actually makes a sound which is louder than noise um, and though it's not that you you can hear it but you f but you feel it um, more but that's not to say that you can't hear it because I am talking about a kind of sound it's, it's like a sound um, but it's but it, it's just the, the, the trees being around um, So I can perhaps change my focus, my attention and look off at the horizon over there instead of focusing on the absolute chaos I'm leaving behind me. No, I'm not. I'm taking all that with me. I love it. Well, I mean, it's not going anywhere. Tune in next week for Meditating with Machines, part, part, part? You don't have to be a part of anything in order to be a part of something, okay? You don't have to be a part of anything in order to be a part of something. Good night. I've been Sam Not talking to you from the Winding Brook Sanctuary for Ultra Terrestrial Life. Um, keep it metaphorial and um, metaphors be with you. This is our kind of alien peace sign. Metaphors be with you. Here's some bits from my notebook. So that's going to be the uh, um, it's not a logo symbol for the Winding Brook Sanctuary for Ultra Terrestrial Life, which is what this place is, as you'll see. So that's the kind of Winding Brook. And this is obviously a bunny rabbit or a hare, you know, bunnage basically is, is, one, is our kind of totem animal. And what I've decided with this kind of thing is, um, you know, it's not a logo, I'm not a brand. I'm barely corporeal, let alone a corporation. So every time I need it, I'll draw it, right? So that's, so it's more like a signature in that sort of way. Um, and that's one of the w ways that I resist, um, you know, this kind of idea that the artist is a brand or something. Are you of the equilibrium, noble Sir Keyshot? Mm, I am of the equilibrium.
I am of the equilibrium. One of the things I'm doing uh, this year is, is is writing my diary, handwriting a lot more. Um, because, um, yeah, I, I feel like, for me this year, this is what writing means, and uh, the rest is like typing up, basically. Um, I sometimes get... Uh, upset about the loss of handwriting because there's a, a lot in the hand so this was um, me trying to sort of work out a poem and uh, here yeah, I was happy with how it ended squelch 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 the reel goes on getting realer as laughter like a hand from the future taps me on the shoulder. I don't need to turn to see the elves beneath the oaks. The winter sun is younger than I am, and we are together in that. Are you of the equilibrium, beautiful Gullifaxi? I am of the equilibrium. I am of the equilibrium. Young flame, not your flam. Are you of the equilibrium? I am of the equilibrium. I am of the equilibrium. Bobby, old pony, standing in a cloud of your own smoky breath, art thou of the equilibrium? Oh, I am of the equilibrium. Mm, I am of the equilibrium. And last but not least, you, Madam Dragon, are you of the equilibrium, perchance? I am of the equilibrium. I am of the equilibrium. Uh, I also wanted to show you this, uh, and this is the thing that I'm going to work on as soon as I've finished with the uh, video and um, that's getting my website up and, and the first thing will be to publish um, my diaries from last year 2023 or begin publishing them um, <clears throat> January and February basically and so w what I'm doing is just um, trying to do a very simple HTML and uh, CSS website um, and just get that up there that, that, that that's the first thing um, so yeah it's, it's curious it's kind of um <clears throat> it's just my diaries um, so it's a mix of like poetry and you know normal journal keeping but th there was something st strange about it um, and I wonder if the the closest analog um, might be the idea of a, a, a magical diary something was going on with me for me last year um, but what's curious about it is without even trying or, or realizing um, I um, It kind of, it, it it just presented itself to me as as a literature. Um, 
I was basically, I was writing in reverse order, so kind of how you'd look as a blog. Um, each day when I updated my um, log, I would write the new day in at the top. So when I came to read it back, I read I read it backwards um, from the 31st, 30th and so on. And what was curious is something happened at the start of January, which kind of gives it the feeling of um, literature or narrative or story, because you, you like building up to something um, and then February I started writing forwards again um, and so January and February they kind of already open like a book basically they just kind of fall open and 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 remind me of literature even though I was just writing my diary although I did at some point realize that um, something something else might be going on <clears throat> so anyway, that's a, something to look forward to, if that's the kind of thing you enjoy exploring. And um, you'll find that as soon as my website, um, I am alone, but we are not dot com. As soon as that's up, this will be on there. Um, certainly by Beltane, hopefully sooner than that. All right. Peas and Lovage. Young Lasco, are you of the equilibrium? I am of the equilibrium. 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 Yum, 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 yum. A quick word on said computer. It's a ThinkPad, a little um, yoga from like 2017 or something. Um, really good, handy computer. And I am running Debian 12 Bookworm on it. Um, and I really want to support GNU Linux and open source software and stuff in general. So. I'll keep wittering on about that every now and then. Also, it's um, it's my phone's 10th birthday this year. Hello, Galactic Swan Song. Happy birthday. He's like a Samsung something Note, Samsung Note 3 from like 2014. Um, and I'm using Lineage OS now. Um, because there's a terrible thing where they only support like two iterations of of the operating system or whatever. So I couldn't use any like modern apps like banking apps or anything like that because because of a software problem that, you know, Samsung or whoever, Android crippled the technology. Um, but luckily there are people out there who will help you get... Um, you know, new open source um, operating systems on your phone and you can continue using it because this is a good phone, decent bit of hardware still, 10 years later, perfectly functional. Okay. Well, here we are. Won't be as good as yesterday because there's not so much ash in my bucket and now I'm conscious of performing, but I said it would be cinematic. Whoa! Have a happy aftermath. That's what this already is. That's why instead of maths, I prefer laughter maths. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.